had been living in Hanoi for a while, but by August I was in Saigon on what's known as a visa run. So um, if you come to uh, Vietnam to live and you are working with a good company, they'll help you renew your visa for you or they can get you a long-term visa. But if you're like me and you're not really well established, you have to go and renew your visa uh, every three months so far. You can only get a certain number of three-month renewals and then you have to leave the country and uh, re-enter. So until that changes, I will be leaving the country every several months to renew my visa. And that's what I'm doing uh, today. I'm leaving uh, for Phnom Penh. I will be taking the bus to Phnom Penh in about uh, 20 minutes. And 30 minutes later, I was on the bus careening my way from the city of Saigon to the lovely fertile rice fields of the Mekong Delta. After only a few hours, we were across the border and driving through the floodplain. And finally, we crossed the river itself. Late in the afternoon, I was in a tuk-tuk, headed down to my lodgings. Then after a quick stop, I went back through town, past the main market, and got my visa renewed at a motorcycle shop, oddly enough. I had still some time left in the afternoon, so I walked down to the riverfront to relax. And as I walked further along, I noticed a lot of amazing architecture. Some of it classical Khmer in style, and some of it more the European colonial style. I also discovered an interesting custom here in Phnom Penh. Now apparently you just, they catch these birds and then you release them so you can feel good about yourself. But then they just go catch them all over again, so it's kind of a racket. There's a large cluster of buildings that I found was, in fact, the palace. So the next day, I bought a ticket and entered the palace to look around. It had many things that palaces in Southeast Asia have. Wall paintings, some palace treasures, impressive architecture, After a few hours of looking around, I came to a few conclusions. Well, it's a bit of a warm day, and uh, it's a pretty interesting palace, but it's a lot like other palaces I've seen, like the one in Bangkok or in uh, Java, the Karatanata, Jogjakarta. A lot of nice buildings, most of which you can't get into, and so you just kind of hang out in the open, barren courtyards and sweat. Anyways, I don't know if it was worth the six bucks, but if you're gonna to come to Phnom Penh, this is of course one of the places you have to visit, so give it a shot. After this, however, a friend of mine from university connected me with her sister and a couple of her other friends. And they took me around to some places in the city that were a bit off the usual tourist track. Classical Roman architecture in Phnom Penh. Slightly incongruous, but interesting nonetheless, eh? Well, not quite what I was expecting. The next day I wandered through the market, taking in the sights and the uh, smells. Then I stumbled into a temple where they were performing some sort of special ceremony. One of the monks found me and showed me the inside of one of the temples. It used to be a very old temple. 
kind of like the temples I used to see in Indonesia. You can see the tool marks on the stone. However, the children didn't seem too impressed and had better things to do. My time in Phnom Penh had been rather enjoyable. However, it was time for me to leave. So the next morning, I was back on my way to Saigon. And then from Saigon, on to Hanoi itself. Well, here I am in front of the Saigon Opera House. I just got done with a six hour trip and I have another six hour wait until my flight leaves at about 9.30. And after that, I'll get into Hanoi at about uh, at least to Hanoi the city at about 1, 1 a.m. So it's going to be a long day. I arrived in Hanoi early, early in the morning. And note to self, next time work for a company that can help you get your visa done. Could save you a lot of time and expense. Lesson learned. Yeah, you, you get twenty dollars an hour, right? Uh, maybe I don't know. That's, I get I get half and half. That's 10. a little ambitious. 